Hey everyone, Leia here. How's it going? I thought I'd make a video today and share my alien abduction story with you because I said that I would in my previous video called Five Facts You Probably Don't Know About Leia. I said that number one is the fact that I was abducted by aliens when I was six years old. So I'm going to share that with you. And uh, yeah, I guess I was just thinking like, it's probably not the best idea for me to be sharing this right before I go to sleep, you know, to bring back all of these thoughts and feelings, all these memories that were quite, uh, quite traumatic, a little bit traumatic at the time. It's probably not the best, but you know what, this is really the only time that I have to make this video, so it's all good. It's all good. Okay, so <laughs> when I was six years old, um, one night I woke up and I sat up in my bed, I was kind of groggy, kind of half out of it, just kind of like, whoa, whoa. And uh, when I finally came to and I zoomed in on what was before me, I saw two beings, two tall, they were pretty tall. They probably were about, I would say, five feet tall, five to even six feet tall. Like they were not tiny. They weren't like three to four feet like a lot of people think the gray aliens are. No, they, these were tall, I remember. I know I was six, so of course everything seems tall, right? But they were probably about, I don't know, five and a half feet to six feet tall. They were slender. They had pretty big heads. They had um, like the typical alien type eyes, you know, the almond-shaped eyes, the, uh, the big almond-shaped slanted eyes. And uh, they were translucent looking. They were actually, it, look, it looks like they were made out of light. Well, we're all made out of light, but they were definitely glowing and translucent. I could kind of see through them. So my first response was to pull the covers over my head. So that is what I did for about three seconds. But then I thought, oh my God, what if they're real? And what if they actually come over and grab me? So I pulled my blankets down a little bit and they were still there. And that is when I screamed. <laughs> That is when I screamed. I jumped out of bed and I ran past them. I remember thinking, oh my God, I hope they don't grab me. I ran past them and I ran out the door and into my parents' room. I leaped on their bed, you know, right on, I think I jumped right on my dad and I woke him up. I'm like, oh my God, dad, there's aliens in my room. You know, you have to come in my room. And she, I definitely, just my dad got up. He came into the room and uh, he's like, well, there's no aliens here. You know, maybe you just had a, a, a nightmare, Leia. You know, go back to bed. And I was thinking, like, okay, like, there's no way they're going to stick around to meet the folks or anything. <laughs> so that night I slept in my parents' bed. Of course, there's no way I was going to sleep in my bed all by myself. No way. So the next morning I told my mom what happened. And she's like, you know, well, it's a possibility. Like, of course she didn't want to say that it actually happened because I'm a little kid. You know, she doesn't want to scare me, you know. If I, it, she, she really just basically said it was probably a dream. And, uh, you know, if it happens again, if you see them again, just tell them they're not real, go away, you know, you're just imagining it. So I'm assuming that she thought that I was really just dreaming, that it was my imagination or, or something like that. Like, I don't, there may have been a part of her that thought, oh, it's a possibility, but really, you know, my impression from my mom was like, it's just a dream, just, just tell them to go away or just try to wake yourself up, tell yourself, like, Leia, you're dreaming, you know. So, um... That night, um, I slept in my bed. You know, thinking about it now, I'm like, I was a really, really brave kid. You know, if that happened to me, if that happened to me now, you know, if two aliens just showed up in my room, um, I'd probably be like on my way to Peterborough. That's where my family lives. It's a, it's a city that's about an hour and a half north of northeast of Toronto. I'd be on, I'd be on the bus right now, heading over there, and I'd be like sleeping in my parents' bed for a year. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Um, I'm actually, you know, I'm a lot more open to the idea of of encountering um, extraterrestrials, you know, of, of making contact today, definitely. But uh, it would still kind of freak me out if they just kind of appeared in my room in the dark, middle of the night, for sure, <laughs> in the beginning, absolutely. Um, anyway, so that night I went to sleep, and the same thing happened. I actually woke up in the middle of the night. What I, what I kind of think it was is that... Um, they were communicating with me telepathically, kind of telling me to wake up. That's, that's kind of what um, I'm assuming. Like, why would I just kind of wake up, you know, and just sit up? You know, it's like they were kind of, I don't know, controlling my mind. I don't really know. But I woke up, 
And I saw them again, and this time, rather than running away, I said, No! Go away! Go away right now! And then I, I think I also said something like, You're not real! I'm imagining you! No, no, no! And just whole, basically everything that came to mind that I thought would make them go away. And after doing that for about probably a minute, my hand, after about a minute of just going, No! Go away! Stop! My hand froze, my arm became paralyzed, my arm dropped down beside my body. My whole body felt paralyzed. And the next thing I remember, next thing I know, I am lying down on some kind of table. There are four ETs around me looking down at me. And two of them had these little, like, proby things in their hands. And I was awake for about a minute just thinking, like, oh, my God, what is, what is happening? And then I blacked out. And the next thing I know, I'm in my bed the next morning, and uh, I remember, you know, when I came to the next morning, just jumping out of my bed, thinking, oh my god, oh my god, what happened? What, what was that? Like, what are they doing to me? You know, like, I was really, it was just, like, because it felt, felt very real, and I, you know, I looked at my body, I'm like, did they do anything to my body? And, and you know, I didn't have any marks anywhere, so... I mean, I don't know, there's a possibility that they implanted something in me, or they took some of me, like my DNA. I, I don't really know what their intentions were. Um, I didn't get, when I was there, like I was afraid, but I didn't feel like they really wanted to hurt me. I felt like maybe they were just very curious about me. That's, that's the feeling that I got, but I was still afraid. And I told my mom what happened, I told my parents, and I think they were a little freaked out. I think they were, but, uh, you know... I don't know, I guess a part of them at the time thought that I was still, I was still dreaming, you know, I, I just, well, I had a nightmare. So anyway, that night, um, you know, same thing happened, I was in my bed, and uh, same thing happened, I woke up, they were there, this, this time I was like, you know, really adamant, like, go away, what do you want, just leave me alone, and same thing happened, my arm, it froze, fell down beside my body, I felt paralyzed, I could not move, the next thing I know I'm on this table, and there are the four ETs around me, they're looking at me, and uh, then I black out, I don't really remember much, I just remember that they're looking down at me, and I see that they have these little like appliances and stuff, and I know, you know, that it sounds kind of scary, it sounds kind of gross, like I don't really... I don't really know what happened, you know, I don't, like, I, who knows, who knows, really, but that, that's, that's what happened, that is my experience, and it only happened the three times, I only had three encounters with them, and, uh, yeah, like, who knows, maybe there's a possibility that at the time, my pineal gland or my pineal gland, which was allowing me to just go into these other realms, these other dimensions, and see aliens, and, and experience something like that, I mean, that is a possibility. I don't really know, but I definitely know that a lot of people have experienced um, similar experiences to what I just told you, and if you have, if you have any memories of this, I would love to hear from you, or if you've just experienced any kind of paranormal, you know, weird experiences, I would love, I'd love to hear from you. You can create a video if you want, or you can email me, or leave a little comment below, anything you feel like sharing, you know, if you've seen a UFO, like anything whatsoever, um, I would love to hear from you, and my time is almost up, so there you go, that's my story, thanks so much for watching, bye.